Welcome, ladies and gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's game. I'm Colm Tomaszewski. Next to me is my partner, Jack Thiel. <clears throat> Friday Night Hoops, we have Lake Sentinel facing off against Valpo Vikings. I'm your color commentator, as I said before, Colm T, and my play-by-play -play partner, Jack Thiel. Jack, the Vikings come into the game with one on, one of the top players in North Indiana. What can Lake Sentinel do to stop the Vikings with a crucial win here tonight? Yeah, as we're talking about, Brandon Newman, the junior shooting guard, who is absolutely lights off in the three-point line. So basically for Lake Central, what you got to do is you got to basically make him shoot contested shots. You can't let him have any open shots. And I bet you for him, he's going to be running a lot of screens down low and up top. So for Lake Central, you just got to stay tight on him because if you give him just a little open amount of space, he's going to knock down that three. Last year, both these teams met and Valpo dominated Lake Central. What can Valpo do to get the same result? Valpo's got to make Lake Central try to come back as Lake Central is not the most impressive three-point shooting team. But when you're trying to come back, as what happens in your mind in the offense side is it makes you shoot two terrible threes, selfish threes. And Lake Central doesn't have the most three-point shooters. They have Nick Anderson, Justin Graciano, Connor Thompson can hit a few. But, like, I really feel like Valpo's just got to take an early lead and just keep the lead going because Lake Central is going to have a hard time coming back, especially against this Valpo team. It's pretty impressive coming in here at 9-4. and four. All right, coming up next, we have the Indians and the Vikings in this crucial DAC matchup.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight, back. Jack, as you said before, the Vikings dominated crucially last year, uh, crucially last year, and they got a player, Brandon Newman. How can he affect their play? Brandon Newman is going to be the playmaker that can lead Valpo to a lot of wins. He can shoot the three. He can play great defense. I've seen him his plays. He has a really aggressive defensive style, and he gets those contested threes, even if you're on him. He's a very catch-and-shoot player. Mm -hmm. So if you're Lake Central, you're just going to have to watch out because players like that are just going to come around screens and just try to shoot those threes. And Newman, he can definitely do that. He's getting recruited by Butler, Valpo, Indiana, Ball Purdue, State. and Ball State. Got an offer from Ball State and took a visit to IU just this past month. So Brandon Newman is going to put a huge effect on the Vikings tonight if they want to win or lose. And here's Keon Sellers, golden side for the floater two. And Newman right there with his first rebound he of the night. There. And Newman charging right there, takes a step back. And Newman right there for the two, but he misses it. A little short right there. You could say he got a little push right there by Keon Sellers. Graciano inside for the two. Sellers for the floater. And it's good. Yeah. Keon Sellers first hits the blood. first two. First one of the game. Alexander takes a two-point lead. And that's what you got to do if you're Lake Central. Right there with a mistake by Valpo. Short end layup that could have been two points for them. And Lake Central took the ball down put easy two up. And now Lake Central's in the lead. As Colin Walls gives it to Newman. Newman just drives inside for the two. And he misses again. Looks like he tripped on his feet. Keon Sellers inside for the two. Euro step and he hits it. Keon Sellers with the Euro step layup. And Keon Sellers as the most points so far. Basically all of Lake Central's points. As it's four to nothing Lake Central. As Newman's been, he's had two layups. That, you know, first one he may, may have got pushed, but he was short. Mm -hmm. The second one it looked like he fell, but Newman, he's going to have to find a shot. They definitely want to pull out a W tonight. And turnover by Vi the Valpo Vikings. Graciano will take it out to uh, Hobbs. And like you said, this is a huge game for both teams in the mm -hmm. DAC. Lake Central is trying to get up top. They're 1-0 right now. They didn't go during the break at LaPorte and win. This is a big win if you're Lake Central. Definitely a big resume booster. You know, they have some tough losses against Munster and Drayen. They did lose the Highland by two. That was without mm -hmm. their star player, Justin Graciano. But just those tough losses can do damage to your team, you know. But they also can help you. So I really feel like Lake Central, they can take on this team. They just got to stop Newman. Thomas for the two, and it's off. Newman with the rebound. Second rebound of the night for the junior. Walls. And it's crazy to think. Newman's a junior. And loses right there. Another turnover by the Velpo Vikings. That's Nate two Ertz in a row. It. And then, like I was saying, it's crazy to think. Newman is a junior, and he looks like he could be in the NBA right now. Mm -hmm. He's got the size. He's just got the look. And the agility and Thomas up top three. And it's good. <laughs> Thomas hits the three, and Lake Central starts the game with a 7-0 run. This is really good. Lake Central is doing, like we said, they can't be down, and now they're, and that'll be on the ground. And like we were saying in the pregame, Lake Central can't be down if they want to win this game. And they're really showing it by taking a 7-0 lead to start off the game. Barrett Kuhlman in his bright green sports suit there. Might as well come in fashion if you drive about 40 minutes away. Yeah. Up there for the two. And he's fouled. 40 minutes. Looks like that was on the junior, Jack Davis. It looks like Nate Eretz, the junior, 6'6", will be going to the line for two free throws. First free throws for the Velpo Vikings tonight. Velpo mm -hmm. trying to get their first points on the board. So far scoreless. First one's up, and it's good. Velpo breaks the zero as they hit one on the score column. It hits 7-1, Lake Central with 536 left in the first. Here's the second free throw. Made the first, second one's up, and it's good. Two for two for Junior. That's now, it's a seven to two game. And Derek Hobbs will bring the ball up. A player to watch out for tonight also on the top. It looks like the uh, six, six freshman, Cooper Jones. Tall. Six, six can do a lot of damage. Yes, a lot. Those rebounds right away. Graciano up top with the ball. Lake Central star player, averaging about 16 points a game. And he's gonna be a key for Lake Central mm -hmm. all year. Thomasick goes all the way at the Sellers. Sellers for the two, and it's good. Keon Sellers. Keon Sellers has six points so far in the night. As Lake Central is with a nine to two lead as the ball's all the way to Charlie Harley. But the goes inside for the two, 
any in one. Looks like that was by number 42, Marcus Golston, the 6'4 senior. Now as we extend this lead here, now one thing I like to say is like Central and their leads, I like to blow them. They do. What do you think, what do you think could happen tonight with that? They, I feel like, you know, sometimes when you have a lead, you mm -hmm. kind of get carried away with it and you don't play the type of basketball you've been playing the whole game, which got you in the lead. So I yeah, think no you just got to play the way you've been playing the whole game. That's number 42, Marcus Goldston, for the and one free throw. And gets a friendly bounce right there as it's nine to six. Nine to five, my bad. As I want to go back, Goldston, that was a pretty athletic play. Looks like an athletic big man. And mm -hmm. that's sometimes a crucial thing. I mean, if you're an unathletic big man, it's kind of hard to get something done. And right there, Goldston with the tip. Newman brings the ball up. He's got numbers, and he dribbles right through the defense, and he hits the two right there. Brandon First Newman, the number night. 10, the junior. Newman showing his athleticism, the great handles, mm -hmm. and the layup right there. Put it right down through the defense, too. This is a tough help of defense. We saw Golston with that nice block on the outside, and Newman took it all the way. Hops in the corner, goes to the wing to Tomasic. Goes back to Hops in the corner. Thomasic inside for the two. No, three by Graciano. Corner, and it's off. And looks like that'll be off of Brandon Newman, and that'll be a Lake Central ball. For Graciano, you gotta hit those. Yeah. You're opening that corner. If he's looking to put up the points, he usually does. We've seen Graciano hit contested threes. He's gotta definitely hit that one if you wanna win tonight. Schiappone goes up top to Sellers. Graciano on the wing. You got Ertz on Graciano, interesting matchup right here. You can also expect to crash down underneath the net. Newman on Sellers, I really like this matchup. And so Hobbs for the two. How about that? Three on one and Hobbs doesn't matter as he hits the two. He's a, he's a crucial player. He's, he is. He's the younger part of the team. And that was a very, that was a very, my, my mind, careless pass as Golson right there for the easy two. Kind of just threw it up and Hobbs just took it down and put it up for the two. Your coach, Bart Kuhlman, you've got to really like your center, Marcus Golston. I just like this kid. He's got something. Inside for the two. And it's good right there. Number Char Charlie Newman. And right there, there's the passing of Newman. We've seen the shot. We've seen the handles. We've seen the speed. And now we see the passing ability. So it's for the two. And that looks like that'll be a blocking foul on Valpo. As we have a tie game. Right? Putting up some high points in the first quarter already. Lake Central, not Lake Central, Valpo is on an 11 and 4 run right now. Mm -hmm. As here comes Keon Sellers to the line for two. He has had trouble this year, though, shooting the free throw. No doubt. First one's up, and it's good. Keon Sellers hits the first one. It's great to see Keon Sellers hit those free throws. As if you're Lake Central, you're going to have to expect Newman to be out there. As Valpo put in those substitutions, and then basically everyone but two people left. And Newman's one of those people that stayed on mm -hmm. there. So you're going to expect him to be out there all the time. Sellers, second one's good. Two for two. 13-11, and Keon Sellers leads all scorers tonight so far with nine. <laughs> Looks like Lake Central's trying to put a little pressure on Valpo. Start they're, the not, game. they're not letting him go easy can't with Newman out there. Not at all. I mean, the team isn't just Newman, but so versatile. And what, see, that's such a nice pass. He, he, I saw him. He was on his tippy toes there. I mean, it might not look it might not look hard, but still. And right there, another turnover by Valpo. It's another third tonight so Colin far Jones in the stay on it. Freshman. Can't turn over the ball. Remember the girls game the other week? Gary Westside. Had about 20 turnovers in just the second half. Can't turn over the ball. Nice double team right there by Valpo. All the way across to Graciano. He's going to take that three. And he's going to hit there it. There we go. And there we go. It. Newman gets the ball. It looks like they're going to try to trap him. But they're gonna, he's going to take it up. Ertz for the three. Thinks about it. Isaac Beatty, a fast player. On yeah, him right yeah. away. And Thomasic tries to dive for that one. Newman in for the two. No, what a nice pass. And he misses it, and then it'll be a Valpo ball. Questionable ball, questionable call right there. 
too, I think there was too many hands in there, maybe. As Valpo better pass the ball in. Seems like they're just leaving a lot of holes open tonight. If you're a Newman, you got to break off a Sellers just like that. He's trying to find him, too. He can't. He tries to cut inside. He wants the post move. What a nice move. Nothing. And it does not fall in. That still was a nice move, though. Yeah. Nice post move right there by a shooting guard. As here's Betty, he's been, basically his minutes have been increasing more and more. Yeah, especially with his speed and agility. And goes to Justin Graciano. Graciano had sellers, but it goes back to Beatty. Schiappone goes in the corner. Tomasic, Tomasic three. Airballs Air it. And Newman with the ball. Sellers right on him. Newman, pull up. And it looks like that's a back end. Tomasic Lake, driving hard. Lake Central definitely applying the defense on Newman. Oh, and he swats it. There's the blocking ability of Newman right now. He definitely got up there. Yeah, Newman, that is some athleticism right there. Keon Sellers for the two, and he's fouled, but he will be going to the line for two free throws. Can we just go back to that block? Yeah. That's, that's some NBA jumping. He came out of nowhere, too. That's like a LeBron James off the glass block. He was pushing the back side of the court, and then he comes out of nowhere underneath the net and just swats it. He's just got all the tools to be a great player. The only fall he's had tonight is the defense has been great on him. You mm -hmm. can't you can't deny that. As yeah, Keon right. Sellers makes another free throw. Three for three so far. Newman will come out. And Charlie Healy will come in. Well, some of the shots Newman's been taking have been a little unquestionable, unquestion I should say. Mm -hmm. The last one, the pull up at the free throw line. I mean, he had a guy in front of him and a guy behind him. I mean, it's kind of hard to make that. Sellers, another free throw, and it's good. Two for two right there, and four for four in the first quarter. Sellers, probably having one of the best first quarters that he's had in a while. He's playing stellar basketball right now. He's got 11 points so far tonight. And 11 points matches the total for Valpo. Mm -hmm. As interesting to see this, Newman is out for Valpo. Yeah. Now we can see who can they revolve over. Oh. Number two. Colin Jones, a freshman. Nate Ertz. Seems like he can shoot the three. He's being a little jab step on that lately. Mm -hmm. There's Ertz right there. Step back two. And he hits it. Ertz with the step back two. And Falpo scores two as it's 18 to 13 with about 35 seconds left in the first quarter here. Isaac Beatty brings the ball up. Can't find an opening here. When he goes to his right, nice first move. And it does not fall in. Valpo's got about 18 seconds. Let's see if they go quick. And Valpo saves it. Because it's a foul by Dom Schiappone. Great awareness right there by number 21, Max Utterbacher. It was a fast pass. Quick move, quick action. As it looks like Marcus Golson will be coming in the game for the Valpo Vikings. Had a nice two and one in the beginning of the game. Nice agility for a big man. Well, under 11 seconds lost in the first quarter. Either trying to get that steal. About four seconds left. Ertz puts it up, three, and it's off. Lake Central lead the quarter. 18-13. And Lake Central did what they needed to do. Make their shots and get in the lead. Don't be trailing. Don't be trying to have not shots you don't want to take, basically. They took great shots. They did make maybe they missed some, but still, they got to the line, they made their free throws. And one big thing is they stopped Brent Newman, which was the key thing, which you saw miss those ter first two shots and just missed his last shot as they're really kind of they're creating confusion for him. As a basketball player, it kind that kind of happens for you. You know, you mm -hmm. miss shots, you miss shots. It gets in your head sometimes. And that determines if you're a great player or just a good player because you can't let that get in your head. Now we are out here. Second quarter. Just beginning. 
We're here to watch some great basketball. You know, yeah, you know. Crucial DAC matchup, Friday Night Hoops. Friday Night Hoops, nothing better than it, you know. What else is better, Friday Night Hoops, it's let's, always what you don't wish for. Let's see what Newman can pull out of here in the second quarter, you know. Newman's definitely gonna have to bring his team back. I mean, yeah, he's got, yeah, you're right. Pretty excellent defense on him all night. In my mind, he's gotta play transition basketball. I think that really helped him when he played the transition. As Valpo will start with the ball. And Newman's gonna start the quarter with it. As he goes to number four, Colin Wells. Back to Newman. Nice pass by Newman. All the way across to Wells. Newman. But Central's defense is in. They have been playing really impressive today. I gotta admit that. They're right. Inside for a two. Nice fake by number five, Charlie Healy. As Valpo makes it a one possession game, a three point game. Healy right there with a nice two inside. Eddie goes to Graciano up top. Hobbs with it. Inside to Tomasic. Tomasic goes for the two. It looks like that's off. Newman with another rebound. And if you're Newman, you just got to run. He's a great transition player. What a nice pass right there. Number five for two, and it's good right there. Charlie Healy again inside for the two. And right now, it's only a one-point game. He's not underneath that. He's, he's pretty near it. Newman got the rebound. Out of nowhere, yeah. Took it down. And with a nice dish right there. We've seen two nice dishes right there already by Newman. Graciano the block the right there once wow. again by Marcus Golson, who has two blocks in that corner already. And a little confusion right there. It looked like between Wells and Norman, who was going to get that ball. As Betty brings the ball up. Interesting to see that Jack Davis hasn't been really playing that much tonight. You yeah. know, a very skilled three-point shooter. And yeah, when he's open, he's deadly. Betty goes to Graciano up top. Golson and Graciano, I think that's a great matchup. Golson, very athletic. Graciano for the two. And it rolls in right there. What are you talking about? The big man puts it in for the two as it's back to a three-point game. 20 to 17 with 6.25 left in the second quarter. My shoes came untied. Wells brings it up. Lake Central once again forcing that pressure. And right there is a 10 second violation as Lake Central will get the ball back and another turnover by the Valpo Vikings. It's, they're definitely, I think the communication between the Vikings could be more like, you know, uniform, a little more talking out there. Some of the most mistakes are made are <laughs> like, I am tying my shoes, Jack. Betty goes to Graciano. Betty with the nice cuts, couldn't get it to him. Thomas in the corner. Graciano up top. Thinks about the three, goes inside, goes back out to Betty. Thomas that got the wing, goes to his left, spin move right, back, nope. Newman with the rebound. Valpo brings the ball up and he falls, gets his own rebound. Looks like I, I shouldn't say rebound, I should just say loose ball. As it's a jump ball and they'll go to Lake Central. Jump ball, Shoes won't tie. As Graciano, you're passing it in the Hobbs. Anderson to Thomas Six, Sellers at the wing, up top to Graciano, wing and Hobbs. Up top to Thomas Six, Thomas Six goes in for the two. Newman. And looks like that's a foul on Newman right there. He got up. You see how he got up there. I'm telling you, this is one skilled player. I'm having a serious dilemma here, folks. My shoes will not tie. Thomas Sick will be going to the line for two. Lake Central so far perfect on their free throws for tonight. I can't control it. And first one's good by Thomas Sick. 21-17. I'm back. Here's the second one by Thomasic. And then it's off. Tough roll right there. As Newman gets the ball. Up only down by four right now, even though they made a lot of mistakes lately. Newman better start, Newman's gotta start moving that ball up closer to the net. And it's oh. fought right there by Graciano. Seems like when 
Golston put that ball down. Graciano took a swipe at it and blocked it. Nice. Notice the sports clip inflatable dude over there. Newman goes inside for the two, and he's fouled by Sellers. Sellers with a smile on his face. It's a smart play for Newman, though. Yeah. Can't, can't lie. Smart play to go inside and draw the foul. As this is the first time we'll see Newman at the line. See, see how he is at the line. Here's his first shot up, and he's short. The very skilled Brandon Newman definitely having some troubles tonight. Definitely. Let's see what he can do with the second shot here. Second one's up. And it's good. One for two as it's a three-point game. And Newman makes it for second free throw as it's 21-18. Lake Central has five minutes left in the second quarter. Hobbs goes to his left. Nick Anderson checking in for the first time. Goes to Graciano. Graciano for three. And it's good. Bang! Straight, filthy cash right there. That was that was good. Newman and was right on it, too. Justin Graciano hits the three, second of the night, as Lake Central extends the lead to six points. And there's a foul by Graciano right there. Newman once again draws the foul. Graciano. Like I said, nothing but net usually on those threes. Uh, so it looks like Ertz will, be pass Ertz will be passing the ball in. Goes to Walls. He has Newman wide open. Huh? Looks like Walls was even paying attention there. As he's stuck. And a timeout right there by Valpo as The man in the green jeans. As it seemed like Colin Walls wasn't paying attention and Keon Sellers could have stole it and could have got the dunk. As Lake Central coming in his timeout with a six point lead with 4.30 left in the second quarter. Lake Central trying to get another win. Really have been a hot team ever since that Andrean loss, basically the first game. And, yeah. you know, in the beginning of the year, you find what your identity is as a team. And Lake Central, I feel like they found their identity. They're not the best offense team, but they do have some offense in Graciano, Davis, and Tomasic, and Sellers. Mm -hmm. And they got that Seller defense right now they're showing it. I mean, yeah. they're holding Newman. They're like about five points That's, right now. Yeah, I, like pregame Newman. I was, was watching his highlights against Penn who is always stellar at basketball, Lowell, and he was on contested threes. So right now, Lake Central's playing that great defense. Seems like he's not shooting any threes tonight. Let's see, two, nothing. And that's all. Thomas Tick almost loses it. Goes Thomas to Hobbs. Got up. Hobbs hands it off to Graciano. Graciano wants another three right here. He's on fire. Graciano pops out. Goes to Graciano inside. Graciano. And a travel right there by the senior. First turnover by the senior, Justin Graciano, number 33. As Walls will bring the ball up. Pretty crowded house here tonight with the uh, AAU teams here. Walls goes all the way to cross to Healy. Healy up top to Newman. Healy goes inside. Can't find anyone. Walls all the way to Walls. You no, know, they're not really giving the ball to Newman at all that much now. No, they're not. Inside for the two. Nick Anderson with the block. Uh, Haven't really seen him with the Coach defense. Barrett Cohn with his arms up, not sure what to do. Nick Anderson with the block, not really known for his defense. Stone some great some right there. Thomas take with the ball up top. 24 18, 307 left in the second. And right there, Newman with the steal. Newman brings the ball up. He's got numbers, goes inside for the two all by himself and lays it in. Brandon Newman just does it all by himself as it's only a four point game with 255 left in the second quarter. Hops up top. Almost, ball's almost with the steal. And a timeout right there by Lake Central as Hobbs is about to lose that ball. 
24 20 with 246 left in this game. Lake Central uh, playing. Their defense has fallen a little bit in this quarter. Defense is kind of getting a little exposed, but still, you got to give them credit. They did what we said in the pregame. Mm -hmm. You can't be trailing. You can't be trailing because that hurts your offense if you're trailing because you don't play your game plan. You play, I need to hit the shot or we're not going to win. I need to score points. And how do you score points? You by hitting threes and by coming closer and closer. And you can't hit every three you take. So Lake Central definitely playing to that memo and saying we got to keep this game close. And hopefully if it's a close game, they don't blow the lead because maybe that will help them. Because we've seen two 19-point leads blown in, this, in a mm -hmm. row. Oh, no, don't even talk about that. So Too much. Lake Central's blown leads that blew one against Munster. They just got to find that game plan. And it's like when they blow the lead, it's like a good amount too. Yeah. Th Thomasick with a nice two. And Nothing. it's a single in. Newman once again with the rebound. Newman brings the ball up inside for the two. Oh, and he dunks it. Stares the crowd. Don't touch me, bro. Don't really like that again, Jack. Jack just punched me in the shoulder. That was insane. If you go back, press that five-second button back. Watch that again. He was up on that rim. And there they go. Another turnover. That's why he's recruited by major D1 schools. You see him staring down the crowd? That is why he's recruited by Division I schools. Did you see that whole sequence? Newman with the three. Oh, and he hits it. Newman with the NBA range three. And Belpo has now taken the lead. Haas for the two. And he hits it. Lake Central takes the lead. 26 to 25. Oh, we got a rowdy one here at Lake Central High School. Corner, Earth for three. And he hits it. 28 there to 26. There it goes. There it goes. Here come the Vikings. Oh, boy. The ship has landed. They're ready to conquer. What a run for the Vikings this afternoon. <laughs> hey, you were saying they are good. I wonder who's going to show up, and here they go. That just in backcourt violation, and everything is going the Valpo Vikings way. Here, here begins. This is where it starts going downhill for Lake Central. Just a sequence for that play. Newman with the rebound. Newman just takes it all the way. And with the powerful dunk. He didn't have any trouble getting up there. We saw it in pregame. Newman up top. He will take that three. Oh, with the crossover two. And he hits off. We saw Newman hit that D3. By the DAC logo a little bit. Maybe that's, a little that's, shorter. That, that's way down. Graciano, time. three. And it just bounces there out right there. Graciano tried to hit his third three 57 seconds left, 26-28. Arch with the ball. What a game we got here, Colm. This, yeah, this is where he starts getting. Goes to Newman. Newman, three. Off. It looks like he was a little short. Third and fourth quarter should be very interesting. Now, see, you can't do that for Newman. You can't just force the shots up. Graciano, three. Corner. And it's good. Bang! 29-28. Let's to leave the 30 seconds left in the game. Three threes in the tonight. Second, sorry. Let him get a sip of that hot sauce. Balls with the ball up here. top. The Go. kids are just kicking the sports tips guy. Goes to Newman. Newman's got 11 seconds. He passes it off. It's number five. Healy. And it looks like there's a foul. Looks like on Shia Pony. 6.6 seconds left in the game. And that might take Valpo to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. And that will. Valpo's trying to take the lead with these free throws. Here's Ertz. First three throws up. And it's good. Tie game right now. This form is a little bit, it's not something else. Ertz can take the lead right here. He's up, and it's good. 30 to 29, Velpo with 6.6 .6 seconds left. And 
little questionable what's going on right now. It might be a delay a game on Valpo. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. I think that's what I think he hit the ball. He did. I think that's what the call is. He did. He threw it out. As 6.6 .6 seconds left, we've seen a buzzer beater here already by Isaac Beatty. And he's in that same corner he hit it. Hobbs, Beatty, three up top. And it hits the back end of it. And that is the end of the first quarter. Stick Belpo around. Takes the lead 30 to 29 with a bunch of electric plays. Come to the second half to see the ending of this exciting game.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Colm Tomaszewski. Next to me is Jack Thiel. Jack, what did we see in the first, and what should we expect in the second half? What we saw in the first was an electrifying dunk, is what we saw in that first half by Brandon Newman. I mean, what a sequence of events right there in those last two minutes of this game. But for Lake Central, the thing was, they got caught in the momentum with Valpo. When Valpo made the dunk, Lake Central came back, missed a shot, Valpo hit a three, and then Lake Central did hit a shot, but Valpo also had another shot. So you can't get caught in the Valpo momentum. And for Valpo, they're in the lead, and they did have some mistakes. Newman didn't play the best half. He did miss a lot of shots. So, yeah. and you're only and you're up by one. So Newman, if he can find his shots, Lake Central's gonna have a lot of problems here tonight. Arch for the two, and the end one right there for the junior. It's gonna be, this, this is where the game starts really, because as we see that, like you said, the dunk, that set it off, and then they, there they go. Here's the and one free throw. And it's short. Offensive rebound right there by Valpo. And right there, the Valpo Vikings take advantage of that height. It looks like that's a foul on Keon Sellers. Yep. Elpo passes it in. Can't really find anyone. Falls all the way to Healy. Newman inside, and he looks like he's stripped right there by Tomasic. We got a three point lead here, 727 left in the game. As Hobbs brings the ball up, Lake Central trailing by three in the start of the third quarter. Graciano goes inside for the two. It is fouled right there. Looks like by number 42, Marcus Golston. I can't get over. Mars head coach for Barrett Coleman, his suit. Bright green. Hey. Like we said in the beginning, might as well come in fashion. First one's up and it's good. The sports club guy is the real guy inside of the costume. The man behind the scenes. The man behind the scenes. Graciano makes the first. Let's see if he can make the second to make it a one point game for Lake Central. And it's good right there. Does. One point game as a senior, Justin Graciano goes for two for two. Newman with the ball, oh. he's got an open, and he takes the shot, and it bounces Rolls in. in. There you go. That's see, that's what makes a great player. Some players want to try to go inside and draw the foul. He's, he, he's, he's comfortable he, with it, yeah. But he had enough room to go and hit that two. As Derek Hobbs hits the two right yeah. there, still one point. But like game. what we were talking about is, smart players would just step back, take the open shot, and that's what he did, and he made it. See, you, you got to play tight on him. You can't just let him get those open shots. Looks like that's a foul on Valpo. Maybe a legal screening right there. Oz brings the ball. Looks like trying to take the lead here after Valpo has had the lead basically the end of the second quarter until now. See a pony. Can't seem to get it open here. Oh, there we go. Davis three. three. He can hit it. And Nothing. it looks like that's short. Schiaponi with offensive rebound. And he hits Puts it off it the for glass. Two. Lake Central with the lead, 35-34. Schiaponi off the glass for two, and Lake Central takes the lead. Newman goes inside for the two. And it's off. Own rebound. And he gets his own rebound again. But he can't finish what a, it. What a player. Over. 
There goes the chance for Lake Central student section. And there's a try right there by Derek Hobbs. Now, I wouldn't call him overrated. <laughs> no, not at all. He's not a scorer, he's a playmaker, I should say. You know, mm -hmm. he's made some nice passes, some nice blocks, some nice D. I mean, he can hit the three. Because he's a playmaker, not a guy that's going to average 30 points a game, you know. That's very rare in high school, though, too. Yeah. Golson goes in the corner. Wells inside. Looks like the Arts. Ertz for the two, and it's good right there. Nate Ertz. Nate Ertz right there really taking the role because sometimes when Brandon Newman's not feeling, fulfilling it, Ertz is right there to take it. He's played great inside. He hit that corner three when things were going good for Velpo late in the second quarter. Davis wide open on that wing. Couldn't find him. Graciano, baseline, go to Shea He always pony. looks at that three. Fake handoff. Goes to Hobbs. Hobbs goes to corner. Davis, three. And it's off right there. Golston with the rebound. Goes to Wells. Walls. Nothing of it. Newman, Newman goes for the two. And he hits it, misses it in his own rebound. And he hits it right there. He's, looking at, he's looking at a double double tonight. And yeah, you're right. As Valpo extends the lead to three points. As Newman has got three re And Newman, breakaway. We can expect to slam a jam. Some slight, some slight. He didn't get that much air on that one. I gotta say, I'm really disappointed. He had to break away. But still, two dunks in one night. Woo! That was a play right there. As Hobbs will be going to the line. Davis will be coming out. Hobbs will be going to the line. Hobbs hits it. Oh, my bad. It's off. <laughs> kind of jinxed him right there. Yeah, 3740. Sorry for that, folks. Inside right there. It's the first time we're really seeing it. Cooper Jones, I think. Ertz with the ball inside. Jones for the short two. It's off. And... Like something to get the rebound. Thompson brings the ball up. Goes to Hobbs up top. Like Central down by three. Trying to come back. Definitely a three by Graciano would help a lot. I know he can hit it too. Yeah, he can. He's hit three already tonight. He can make it four. Anderson, he can shoot that three. We've seen it. Mm -hmm. Graciano in the post. Move. What a move. <laughs> Textbook big man right there. Turned around, saw it, shot Just it. like he took it right out of the book, just like that. No doubt. As it's a one-point game, and this is where Lake Central's defense seems to be the best right now. Let's see what can happen here. Walls up top. Goes to Ertz, and a little push right there with Schiappone. Behind the back. Goes inside for the two. Looks like he was blocked. Oz brings the ball up. Anderson, three. Up. And it's short. Lake Central really has got to take advantage of those open threes. Yeah. I'm not sure if Anderson's hit any tonight, but I've seen him in previous games. He did have that nice block. Short, and what a nice grab right there. Crash down for the two. Oh, and it rolls off. And a foul right there. Max Otterbacher with the athletic grab right there. He, yeah, almost came up like a, like a cat, you know, jumping in the air. Sometimes he look, it looked like he kind of hyperextended it there. I go Dell Beckham. Another hurt. So, looks like Art will be going to the line for two. First one's up, and it's good. Belpo extends its lead to two. Oh, 
second one's good. Three point game for the for Valpo. Norman will be coming back in, trying to get a little rest. No, it's a very vibe here. Like the song, it's a vibe. You know, you can feel it, Colm. Something's going on. The vibe is going on. Yeah, it's, it's electrical. So it they call the power company. Uh, the Valpo support system is great. I got to give it up to them. This ain't, a, this ain't a short drive for them. No, not at all. Tomsic, three. And he airballs it. Maybe, that oh my it, maybe it looked like it was hit, but actually it wasn't because it will be Valpo ball. A lot of off threes tonight. Not something we're used to seeing here. Wallace with the ball up top. About 2.10 left in this third quarter. Valpo up by three. It's coming a close one. Nice pass right there, but Graziano oh, steals it. Watch it, White. Watch Newman. for a block. Nice D right there, though. Looks like it's on the ground. It could be on Valpo. But see, what made that a good play by Newman was he hesitated. Mm -hmm. He timed it perfect. He knew Graziano wasn't going to put it up right and we've away. We've seen that by Keon Sellers. He has that great timing, too. They're never going to put it up right away, especially Graziano. Five seconds. Nope, my bad. Timeout right there. And Graziano hits the three, but it will not count. Blake Central almost in that violation. And you're down by three. You do not want to turn over the ball, especially a silly turnover like that. Just because he couldn't pass the ball in five seconds. They were really close there. Once again, this is a DAC matchup. Valpo coming in to this DAC matchup. As one and one in the conference, Lake Central coming in as one and zero. Oh. Both teams trying to make a stand in the DAC standings. Hobbs will be passing the ball in. A little confusion going on. It looks like. Sorry about that. Hobbs goes to the Thomas second in the corner. Great D right there. Nice pressure, I got to say. Newman on Hobbs. Rossiano, three. three. Fourth of the Bang! day. Sarata. That's what I like to see. Tied game here. I think we need some ice in here for him. Oh. A little something for the veins. Newman, three. Short. Betty with the rebound. Thomasick goes in for the two. Looks like that was blocked. Newman brings the ball up. Spin move. Corner. Three. Up. And he can't hit it. Looks like that's a foul on Valpo. Interesting stat line here. Oh, since 2012, Valpo has only lost at Lake Central one time. Really? And that was in this gym. Not this gym, but the old gym. The old, yeah, the field house. Good. He used to get some crowds up in there. Some legendary players that played there. Yeah. Glenn Robinson, Tyler Weidman. No doubt. Weidman doing a great job of Butler right now. Butler knocked off Villanova, who was number one at that time. But he was number three in the state. Hey, and guess who's recruiting him? Country. Newman. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Graciano for the two. Can't hit it. Back and forth basketball here. Newman, Newman with, the, with grab. the grab. Goes in for the two. And the end one. Dang. I just beat he got up there, though. That was, he got up. Newman? Newman? This kid's athletic ability is on new levels for me. Last yeah. time we saw this was from the Maryville game last year. Oh, yeah. We haven't really seen this great of athletic ability. When do we play Maryville? Uh, we will be going on the road. I do not know the exact date, but we will be going on the road. Oh. Mer Maryville, very athletic. I saw them play against Andrean. Yeah, I remember you talking just, about that. Oh, the chance they, every chance they get, they'll dunk the ball. Dovis. Yeah, they'll put on a show. They'll put Zach on Dovis a show. Zach Dovis checking for the first time. A nice awareness right there by number 42. Marcus Golston. I'm really liking this guy right now. He's showing up for sure. 
He's hit, th he's hit the shots. He's played great D. Hit the got those two blocks in the corner in the first half. And right there at the great awareness, almost a steal. But still, it's always great to tip the ball like that. Like we said, this is Dobis' first time checking in the game. Malazza putting him in a key situation, I should say. Dobis up top. Goes off to Shiapone. Newman on Shiapone. Interesting matchup. Colton Jones on Beatty. About Colton seven Jones. seconds left. Looks like they're going to take the last shot. Beatty three. Air ball. Air ball. They got time for a shot. Full court. It kind of had the accuracy. Yeah. It kind of looked like that. Like one of those things, you know, 10,000. Power, powerful. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like one of those $10,000 mm -hmm. shots at a halftime game. But that is the end of the third quarter. Valpo heading to the fourth quarter with a 45-42 lead. And Valpo has been doing what they needed to do. It's only a three-point lead, which is interesting. You know, we haven't really seen Lake Central be a comeback team. They did. They were trailing against Munster. Well, they weren't able to really come back. They were trailing against Andrean late in the fourth quarter. Weren't really had a chance to come back. It's interesting to see. You know, Valpo's got that. They got that skill in that team. I mean, it's not just Norman anymore. Newman. So Lake Central's just got to. They just got to. I mean, they're not doing a bad job. Not at all. Defense, Lake Central's. So Valpo, they went 21 and four last year. One of the best teams in history. One of the best. And beat Lake Central 50 to 28 last year. Lake Central scored 28 points in that game only. They have 42 right now going in the fourth. For you Chicago White Sox fans, we got some great oh, news for you. Get out of here, Jack. Get out of here. Jeff Samarja. Go Cubs, go. Jeff Samarja, former pitcher of the Chicago White Sox and, the, Cub, and the Cubs. Go. Okay, there we go. Attended Valpo High School. You're right. And, of course, you can't forget about Glenn Robinson, who attended Lake Central High School. Oh, championship dunk. Currently recovering from Woo. his injury, but still coming great. As Lake Central starts the ball. He was here for uh, camp over the summer. Keon Sellers. I haven't really seen him that much. No, you're right. He was in the first a lot. Rossiano, two, and it's off. Newman once again with a rebound. Keon Sellers is on. Oh, here we go. Ertz with the two, and it's good right there. Nice find by Newman. And it's a five-point game right now. And you know who Newman is reminding me of? Who is he reminding you of, Jack? Tell me. I, I got to say Andrew Wiggins. Oh. Andrew Wiggins, a player kind of his size, playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, you're you know, right. Wiggins isn't the best at the three, but can hit it. He can surely hit the physical dunks. Great defense, rebounds, and can pass. So I really can see that comparison as an NBA player if I were him. I'm, it is hot in here, Jack. All the people here. This is, probably, this is probably one of the most crowded games here tonight. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we haven't really seen a crowd this big. For Lake Central, they, usually, they are averaging more than Valpo in the fourth quarter. So that's a good note for Lake Central. But Valpo averages about 62 points, and they're held at 47 right now. So... They can get that late spurt going. Oh, it is hot here, Jack. As Graciano will be passing the ball. In. Seven thirty-eight left in the fourth. Forty-seven forty-two. Valparaiso. Hobbs brings the ball up. Goes to Graciano. Wing of Tomasic. Hobbs cuts inside. Couldn't find him. Hobbs on the wing. Goes to his left. Goes to his right. Tomsic thinks about the three, but doesn't take it. Graciano will definitely take that three if he has enough room.
Valpo's defense definitely stepping up in the right time. You know Graciano's going to want to trigger that three. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for it. He's got four already tonight. Sellers to his left. He's got his open two, and he can't hit the oh, layup. Just missed it, too. He had it. He was up there. Here's Newman. Nothing. Newman up top. He'll shoot that. Newman goes inside. What a pass, and what a lay-in for Ertz. Newman to Ertz, and they work together. We have seen everything from Newman tonight. I mean, he might have start. He might not be scoring, you know, 40 points, but his passes. He has his, his basketball IQ is really great. For he's a junior. Yeah, and he'll be coming back next year. So, plenty of time to grow. Yeah, and then develop. Exactly. If he's if he's already if he's at this stage as, as a junior, junior, think about his senior year. Something to watch out for next year, no and doubt. You kind of it kind of reminds me of someone. Kind of reminds me of a player from around here. This kind of talent. Maybe not as most, but some of it. Glenn Robinson. Oh, amazing. I feel like these two are kind of the same. I know Glenn Robinson's a better, but still, these guys are right. They were rising stars in high school. And especially at this young age, playing this good at basketball, I feel like this is one. This, this is a great high school player. We're really getting. It's our first time tonight to see him, Cole. He is. I have to say, the team chemistry. Like I, I said in the first, yeah, first the quarter. Yeah, chemistry is great. At first, they weren't talking much, but now uh, out of nowhere. Little bends up. Lake Central's down by seven. They got to hit something. Davis three. Bounces out, close one right there for the junior. Hobbs steals it. Lake Central has the number go. of games. Sellers to his left for the two, and he hits it. There we go, some points on the board. Keon Sellers makes up for that miss two as he makes that two. As it's a five point game with about 5.15 left in the fourth quarter. And this is where you gotta watch out for Newman. This is where the key players take over for your team. Healy with the ball. Goes to Walls. Healy goes inside to Art. Healy thinks about it. Goes to the wing of Newman. Newman goes to his left, goes to his right, off into. You know, insane. Graciano thought about the three. Here, Graciano, I think he had to take that three. Wide open. Sellers for three. We don't really see him shoot any threes. As looks like that's a timeout by Valpo. Seven-point game with 419 left in this fourth quarter. Lake Central trying to stage a comeback here. But the Valpo Vikings are hanging in tough, and Newman is just taking over in this fourth quarter with the tough shots and the contested ones and just hitting them. And for Lake Central, you just gotta just gotta tip your hat to him. So we can make it here. 419 left, 44 to 51, fourth quarter. It's been an interesting game. Some close points. Lake Central playing the pressure on Valpo right now. Walls with the ball.
Interesting right here as Valpo is resting Newman. Smart though, resting him so he can play the last two minutes maybe. He's a shutout. Close out. This is where you gotta take advantage of your Lake Central. With no Newman one's out. moving on the court. There with Newman go. out, this is where Lake Central needs to take it. What a nice pass. What a nice lay-in right there. Woo. He got up there, though. Healy to Otterbacher, and it's a nine-point game right now for the Vikings. Colm, I told my friend, you know, in school today, the game would be 58-54 Vikings. No, Joe. Looks like that's a foul right there by Golson. I, I want to throw it back to football where we called the what was it wasn't the Michigan City and Lake Central yeah, game yeah I made it I made it and we were about a t I think a touchdown off I was no I was three points off three points off I was good perfect see usually at the beginning of the season I really had no idea about like football scoring and all that and Jack taught me a little bit thank you Jeff for teaching me all this and anyway so I get into it and I, I this bogus score I called out oh here comes sports guy I'm getting scared Graciano can't make the free throw as it's an eight-point game. Lake Central with the pressure. Eric with the ball. Goes to Healy. Walls up top. Goes to Healy. Newman with the ball. Newman he goes, goes shooting Newman it. goes to Eric. Eric loses it. Oh, here he goes. Oh! And a foul by Newman right there. The sports clips blow up guy behind me is just getting beaten on here by some little kids. Oh. There's a, There's a person inside the sports clips thing, I repeat. I'm all tangled up my cord now. Here is Hobbs trying to make this a seven point game with 237 left. Up, oh, and it's good. Hobbs makes the first free throw of the one and one bonus. Here he goes. Second one's up. And it's good, two for two. It's a six-point game. And Blake Central's now two possessions It's a away. close game. Almost a violation right there. I think they're just going to play a holding game. Or not. Uh, trap them. That's the only way you're going to get that ball if you trap them. Fast moving here on the court. Inside passes are a little dangerous, especially at this time. Isaac, on, oh, and a foul, I think. Might have been a timeout, actually. Yeah, it looks like Walls might have called a timeout right there. That's a smart play right there. It's about to be out of bounds and he called a timeout just at the right time. Smart move in there by the coach. A 30 second timeout. 30 seconds can change the play of the game. Lake Central trying to get a win here tonight. Trying to trying to start the new year at home in a positive way. Let's see what they can make of it. I'm. It's a close game. I'm surf, I'm very surprised. A three right here can ice it though, for Valpo. Newman. 
Newman pushes. Oh, here he goes. Oh, I'm sorry about the call. He plays to the whistle's blown. I like that about him. Aggressive. Here comes. Gets what he deserves. Hard work. Douglas comes out. Thompson comes in. Interesting is Davis is not in right now. You think he'd need a three-pointer. Like Sancho with the steal. Nope. And it looks like that'll be awful. Like Sancho. That's questionable right there. Very questionable. Graciano's not happy with that call. I wouldn't be. Oh, that's a big play right there. Because like I said, if you're Valpo, hit a three, that could ice it for you. They're just trying to find Newman, basically. Might be able to do it. Newman's wide open. He had the wide open. It looks like there was a foul right there. It seemed like he tripped, though. Now this is where just one team is going to start to pull away here. Uh, Velpo will go into the line for a one-on-one -on -one bonus. Now, do you think that green suit is custom fitting? Uh, there's a website that I know that I get suits like that for custom fit, yeah. If you need a custom suit, hit me up. I'm just like very intrigued by it right now. Look at the Irish. First free throws up. And he can't hit it. Oh. Thomas like, what the rebound? I feel like Sancho got to at least put a two up the, on the board to, right now. Thomas like for the two. And it goes in right there. Four point game. And Coach Milan's gonna call a timeout for the Indians. So that's a four point game with 145 left. Good play right there by Thomasic. Shh. Shh. Be quiet. You can hear the electricity here. Watch this, ready, Jack? Watch this, ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Minute 45 left in the uh, in the fourth. There goes the chance. I'm not sure about that one though. As Opal will be passing the ball out, you, you can expect Blake Central to press them right here. They need that ball. Fouls. I wouldn't say they foul yet. I wouldn't say they foul yet because I feel like the time's a little too early on the clock. Yeah, there's Newman. That's right there, right there. Double team him. That's what you got to do. Double team. Right there, jump ball. And they call it a foul. Coach throwing some stuff there. Does not agree. I would throw stuff too. That looked like a jump ball to me. It's definitely a jump ball. We need Mike Piero right now. Yeah, we do. Joe Buck stole him away from us. I really don't understand that call, though. I'm sorry. First one's up, and he hits it. It's like a Ray Allen free throw right there. That was straight in. And that's a big call, too, late in this game. Even though possession arrow goes to Velpo, but still. Two points right here. And it's 55-49 with 136 left. Thomasick with the ball. Goes to Davis. Davis loses it. Thomasick saves it. Graciano, three. three. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He hits the three. 52-55. Minute 18 left in the game. This is happening. Ice in the veins. Woo. And the travel. Turnover game strong. We got a three-point game. And Someone now call the power time. company. It's getting electric in here. You have no hype, Jack, though. I'm just saying it right now. 
Except for the dunk, that was electric. Hobbs brings the ball up. Graciano thought about the three. He loses oh. it. Newman. Newman's got the breakaway. And he misses. He misses again. Is it a foul? It's a jump ball. Wow. And they'll go to Valpo. Wow. Jack, what did we just see there? Felt some hard teamwork, and that's what you need. Wow. Lake Central did not give up on that play at all. But you still got to get that rebound. Like Jack Davis, right? Yeah. I mean, he got it. Nor Nor Newman got his own rebound again. Twice. You got to watch it right there. You got to trap him with Lake Central. Trap him right now. Yeah, they. Where's the double coverage at? You got to trap him. He can hit that. Not from there, but he, he can, he can yeah, get he past that DAC Sellers. range earlier, yeah. If you're Hobbs, you got to get on him. You can't just let him get that ball like that. They're just letting the ball, it's pa getting passed around. They can't. They got to push. There we go. I mean, foul, they could have trapped them. Getting his own rebounds many times this game. I mean, I'm sure one guy's going to be open. I'm sure the other teammates can take care of it. Teller's fifth. As Lake Central down by three with 26 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Lake Central definitely had the chance when Valpo turned it over. Twenty-six point one seconds. Newman. And he can't hit it. See opponent with the Graciano guy at the ball. 20 seconds left. Three-point game. Hobbs brings it up. Hands it off to Davis. Thomasic for the two. And it's good. One point game. Lake Central calls the timeout with 12 seconds left as it's a one-point game. This is basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Full time out. As if you're Newman, I, f I feel like that missed free throw's in your head now. Sweet. Jack Dill, last year, Maryville game. Last year, Maryville game. That was one crazy game. Our cameraman, Max. Just, just hinted at what if it was a buzzer beater here? Miracle on 30. I'm throwing hey. down the headset. I have to let you know. I'm going to scream. Hey, Miracle on 8400 Wicker Avenue. That's what I got to say. It is getting loud in here. You know, Cole, this is why. This is why, this I is watch why people love sports. The excitement and thrill of this. 2016 Cubs World Series win. Jack shook his head. Here we go right here. Now, if I'm Hobbs, I would maybe go for the guy who thinks he can get the ball. Great D right there. Yeah, it seemed like Beppo called a timeout just in time. That was close. Getting really heated in here right he now. He got worried. <laughs> Refs have been missing a few calls lately. I yeah, gotta they, say. Uh, no, 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 for sure. There's a lot of been a lot of. Uh, what should I say here? Questionable calls. There you go. Maybe he could come out on top as a uh, buzzer beater, but I would hope so. Both are the best games.
He nails like that was perfect full court press right there. They didn't let the man get the ball, and when Newman was going to get it, he was going to get trapped in that corner. Perfect ex execution right by Alexander. Here they are. They're trying to get back in this game. 12.1 seconds. That's 54, 51. Ooh. This is this. Is, both like both coaches are very. They're very nervous right now. Balpo because that green suit that's doing something, but not something. For Balpo, Lake Central's been on fire. They've been coming at him, coming at him, coming at him, haven't been gone yet. As Newman will be passing the ball, and it's interesting there. I think he's going to go for the full court pass. As right there, see, Thompson comes off this guy, and they're going to try to guard double team whoever thinks he's going to get the ball. I like this. I like this. Oh, I like that play. I like that. That, that, was, that was that was a good play. That was smart. Give give the coach credit for that one. Now we know why Newman was passing the ball in. Well, at least for the first part of it. That was smart. Newman hasn't been good on the. He missed that free throw. Yeah. Don't forget. Coach Lozada has some tricks up his sleeve too. Still a one possession game if he makes both anyways. He will be shooting double bonus of two free throws no matter what. The most it can be is a three point game. And he makes the two point game right now as he hits the first one. If we hit a, if we hit a full out three here. Here's the second free throw. Lake Central has no timeouts. And he misses. Lake Central does not have a timeout. They have to go. Thomas brings the ball up. Goes in front of two. And it's goaltending. And Blake Central ties the game. Goal it's tending. goaltending. It's good game. 3.8 seconds out of the fourth. Newman goaltends. Tied game. 3.8 left. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you believe? Can you believe what we just saw? Ladies and gentlemen, it is a tied game here. 3.8 seconds left. 56 to 56. Jack Field, how are you feeling right now? Did we just see that? Goaltending. Goaltending. What? I have never seen that before at the end of a game. And these chants are definitely coming oh, up. Oh, wow. That's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. They still have, they still have time, though. Don't. Yeah, 3.8 seconds. Anything can happen in 3.8 seconds. See, still. Seen a lot. My heart's racing, Jack. Newman, he, he did the right thing. He just didn't time it right. That's the thing. He did the right thing trying to block the shot. He was just a little too late. Oh, here we go. 3.8 left. You got Newman out there. You can probably expect him to take a shot. As Velpo passes the ball and Blake Sumter going back. Newman with the ball. Newman half quarter and can't hit it. They go into overtime. Overtime here. It's my first vote. Oh, wow. First overtime here at Lake Central High School this year. Wow. What a game. Friday night basketball is back. I wasn't really, you know, with, with, with Newman on the team, I was really not expecting too much to happen here. Just maybe like higher score, but you know, it's really happening. 56 all as we head into a four minute overtime. My heart is beating. I think we've seen, Cole, I think we've seen everything tonight. We've, we have seen everything tonight. We've seen dunks. We've, we've seen, seen nice passes. The great defense. We've seen terrific blocks. We've seen the game-tying basket 
happen by goaltending. I have never seen that in my entire life. If you're Newman, I really, how do you respond to that? As it looks like it'll be Shia Pony and Golston. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to free basketball. This this right here. Tip off. 24 viewers now with us. Balls up. Oh! And Palpo will get the tip as Walls brings the ball up. Now the bonuses stay, so both teams are still in the bonus. Yeah. This is where it's going to get interesting. Healy with the ball goes to Newman. He definitely wants to make up for that goaltending. Newman, two. And it goes in right there for him. <laughs> You're gonna have to stop him if you want to survive in overtime. Yeah. Haas brings the ball up. Woo! He's putting the spin cycle a little bit there. Shia Pony at the wing. Gassi on the top. Hands you it off know to Davis. Davis almost loses it. Shia Pony does not take the shot. Graciano's got the three. Doesn't take it. Goes inside for the two. Oh, and he just swatted right there. Hoth for his two, and it doesn't go in. Newman with the rebound. Newman's everywhere. What a block that was. Yeah. As Newman does have the double-double. Walls with it up top. Valpo up by two. Newman goes in for the two, and it rolls oh! And he gets his own rebound and puts it back up. 60 to 56. <sighs> Goes to Graciano at top. Thomasic wing. Graciano corner three. Oh, you got to be me. 59 to 60. 218 left. Give Six skin. threes. Let's go. Ooh. One point game. Walls with the ball at top. Nervous. Goes to Healy. Davis on Healy. Hobbs on Walls. Walls with the ball up top. 154 left in this overtime. 60 to 50, 59. Velpo. Art with the ball. He's showing some great athleticism lately. For the two. And it rolls in right there for Marcus Golston. 62 to 59. With 135 left. And Lake Central is trying to come back with their own two. Or maybe tie the game with the three. Newman with the steal, he's got a breakaway. And he puts it up to two. As Velpo extends the lead to five with under a minute 15 left in the game. Lake Central definitely in desperation of points right now. Hobbs goes inside for the two, and he hits it. Oh, wow. 64 61 with under a minute left in this overtime. This will be a crucial drive for both teams right now. Oh, high pass right there. Nice pass right there by Healy. Healy with the ball at the wing. Goes to Newman. No, my bad. Walls. It looked like it was going to Newman, but it went over. They're trying to extend the score here. And 46 seconds left in the game. I'm getting. Newman with the ball at the wing. And it looks like they followed. This is electric. This is why I watch basketball. We want to shout out all of our viewers tonight. Oh, yeah, thank you for tuning, tuning in. in this Same game. with us. All 21 of you right now. Just tuning in this exciting game and one of the first overtime games on the live stream in a while. Newman's free throw is up, and he hits it. Four point game. Second free throw is up. And it's good, two for two right there. It's a five point game with 42 seconds left. It's like Central does not make a basket here, mm -hmm. that might do it. Thomasick up top, and looks like he might be followed by Healy. 
And he'd be going the line for two. Jack Davis tonight in the shoes tight. Betty probably coming in for that electric defense. Fast kid, fast kid. You need a kid that's electric, but definitely get a steal. Here's Thomas. These are very crucial free throws. First one's up, and it's good right there. Thomas gets the first one. It's a four-point game with 34 seconds left. Here's Thomasic, made the first. Second one's up, and it pounces out. And a foul right there by Hobbs as Healy will be going to the line for two. I haven't really seen Charlie Healy go to the line really tonight. We'll see what he can do. This is high school basketball. Here goes Healy. First one's up. And it's out. Davis comes in for that three-point shooting. He'll see if he can rebound from that first free throw. And he makes the second one as it's a four-point game. Four-point game, Jack. Basically, five-point game. 67-62 with under 35 seconds left. Like Central's definitely got to hit a shot right here. Hobbs, spin move, corner, Davis, three, and it's off. And it looks like that'll be a foul on Lake Central. 20.2 seconds left. I can. And Valbo will be heading to the line for two free throws. Here's Ertz. First one's up. And it's good. Six point game now. Second one's up. And it goes in. 69 to 62 with 20 seconds left. The odds for Lake Central are not very good. They need a three or something, I don't know. They are taking too much time. And a steal right there by Valpo. Ladies and gentlemen. And that's gonna do it. 62, 69 looks like, yep. Valpo hangs in there. And wins in overtime. 69 in overtime. That'll be about it. That's about it. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm Colm Tomaszewski. And I'm Jack Field. See you guys next live stream.